Uh, good morning, colleagues. Um, welcome to the devolution for the Powers Committee at our 18th meeting. Uh, agenda item one is consideration of a draft, ma draft memorandum of understanding on the BBC. Um, following consideration of the draft memorandum of understanding by the committee last week, agreement has now been reached between the Scottish and UK governments on the draft memorandum of understanding on the BBC. Me um, members have copies of the recent correspondence between the Scottish and UK governments on this particular matter. Now, I think I, I should ask Stephen or Clark just to bring us up to speed on what the sequence of events have been since we, we met, I think it was, was it last week or on this, in this regard. Stephen. Yeah, thank you, Convener. Happy to provide members just a little bit of background. I'm quite conscious that we gave you this correspondence only yesterday, so you might not have had a, an opportunity to, to read through it yet. Um, if you recall, you discussed uh, the draft memorandum of understanding with the, on BBC Matters last week. At that stage, there were some suggestions from the Public Audit Committee and the Education and Culture Committee about how the MOU could be improved and also some suggestions from the Scottish Government. And you left it last week for discussions to take place between the Scottish and UK Government to see whether or not those changes to the MOU could be taken on board. So what you have in front of you now um, are three uh, letters. You have a letter from the Cabinet Secretary of Culture, Europe and External Affairs to uh, the Secretary of State for Culture, Media and Sport, dated the 15th of June. You have uh, a response uh, from the DCMS back to the Scottish Government dated the 17th of June. And you have a letter in front of you also from the Scottish Government to the convener dated the 17th of June, just summarising where the two governments have got to. Uh, as the convener has indicated, the, the two governments have reached agreement between themselves. Uh, that means, therefore, that the Secretary of State for Culture, Media and Sport has accepted the changes that the Scottish Government wanted to make to the MOU and has also accepted the suggestions that the Public Audit Committee wanted to make to the MOU as well, and has also provided some text uh, that they now believe that the MOU delivers the spirit and substance of the Smith Commission's recommendation, which was the point that the Education and Culture Committee made. So that, to summarise, it, that therefore means that all the other signatories were happy to take on board the suggested changes, and it's now open to this committee to decide its next step. Okay, any members want to make any comment? Or are we all content? Stuart? I think it's been a, a very welcome um, development between the two governments that they've agreed so rapidly um, on the Memorandum of Understanding, and I'm sure that the Education and Culture, Culture Committee uh, members will be pleased that uh, their views were taken on board, and I I'm delighted that uh, uh, such a, a rapid agreement has been reached. Tavish. I share uh, Stuart Maxwell's view on that. The only point I'd like to just reflect on is that uh, in the letter that um, the Cabinet Secretary for Culture sent to, I think, both you, Convener, and certainly to Paul Martin, the Convener of the Public Audit Committee, on 8th of June, which was in the initial stage of this process, she has a sentence which, which says, I also consider the MOU to be the formal means through which our policy on broadcasting can be progressed. Now, I think there's a quite important distinction there between the Scottish Government's position on broadcasting and Parliament's scrutiny of the MOU and our role as a committee, as indeed with the Audit Committee, which I and um, uh, Stuart Macmillan and, and other colleagues uh, sit on. And I just want to be very. I uh, just I want to put that distinction, yeah, very important distinction, on the record because it's quite that. important to me. Understand that. Any other members want to make any other comments? In that case, can I ask members whether they're content to agree the content of the draft memorandum of understanding? If we are content, in that case, a short report will be prepared um, by the clerks recommending um, to the Scottish Parliament that we sign up to the MOU. Uh, and I think that will reach the chamber next week. At some stage, Stephen. Business managers agree. If business managers, if business managers agree. Okay, thank you. We now move into private session.